Hello everybody, this is Stan Schmia. Thank you for viewing this uh, WebEx presentation on Colmar's new installation list. So um, we've got a new feature here at Colmar where we've taken our installation list and put it online so that anybody with access to our intranet can uh, can see our installation list, download it, um, do searches, filter on it, and, uh, and even add new uh, installations to that list. So we'll just get right into it. So the way to get to the new installation list, starting off with the Denora homepage, um, inside our intranet, um, you go to the uh, Wikipedia or the knowledge database that I set up. I've already got a link for that set up here. I will forward, uh, re-forward that, uh, that email link, uh, that link via email to everybody. But when you get to the Wikipedia page, you can, um, click on the, uh, on the main icon there on the photo and you get right into the Wikipedia site. Some of you may have, uh, may receive a, a link or a, a, a notice that looks something like this where it says you need permission to access the site, just go ahead and hit that request access button there. That's all you have to do. And uh, you will be given access to uh, to the Wikipedia site. So once you're in, you can see that right here towards the middle at the bottom, I've got the, uh, the installation list uh, right there as a link. So you go ahead and click on that link. And then this now brings up uh, this new feature where we have uh, within our SharePoint system kind of a spreadsheet type of arrangement where um, all the installations that we've got uh, in this list are up here. Um, so there's about a thousand installations in this list. It is a global list. Um, um, a lot of them are in the U.S. really came from all kinds of different inputs uh, from our site line system, from Salesforce, from even the service call. Uh, reports that our service team uh, completes when they when they do an installation. So try to gather as, uh, as much data and put in here as possible, though uh, really is incomplete at this point. So we really are uh, encouraging our, our, our folks and our team to to uh, add installations to the to this list. But let me just go through what we've got showing here. Um, so some of the fields that we have, the first one critical is a site name. So this is a, a required field. Um, so you do have to enter a, a name for the facility and then the Salesforce number if we did do a quote it'd be nice to have the Salesforce number the uh, ERP number if there's a site line number if we have that uh, if we have an installation date and then uh, the, uh, the the owner or the user may be different than the site name in some cases and then of course we have the basic uh, site information for the address city state uh, it is an international list we kind of had to split up a little bit province and state and some of the international ones but all that data is there and then uh, we do have some product categories. Uh, we have you know EST, gas feed, UV, and others. And then we even have tried to break it down with some of the types of products that are there. Um, so I'll show you that a little more details on that later on. And then of course the market segment. And then probably the most critical thing is uh, the contact details and if the uh, if the site has been qualified or not. So here we have some of these few sites where we've got some of the names of the folks and their phone numbers and email addresses. Um, and uh, qualified means that this the site we've actually gone in and said, hey, can we use you guys as a reference? And if they if they've agreed to that, then we have this yes uh, flag here. So that means that we're able to give that name uh, and that contact details out to say consulting engineers or others who are looking for uh, for. Uh, qualified references in that in their area. So uh, if they didn't say yes, or we don't have a, a yes on that. We'd still put them in here. Um, they just would say no for for qualified, but we still have the contact details that, of course, we can use. And then I do have some note fields in here for any additional information that uh, that you may want to add to uh, to that uh, to that installation. So that's basically the kind of data that we're collecting. Um, so how do you go ahead and use this information? One of the simplest things you can do is if you just want to download the entire. Uh, the entire thing is a spreadsheet. You can click on the uh, export to Excel and uh, it will create a uh, Excel spreadsheet that you can then uh, open up and, uh, and download onto your hard drive. Let me just go ahead and get that going here. Click enable and then let's see, give it a second to download and we should have our spreadsheet so here we go so basically a standard spreadsheet that um that you can use you can use the uh the filtering tabs the filtering details and go through and uh and use a spreadsheet as you need to uh this does have all of the records in it so it is kind of big um so another way that uh that i kind of recommend doing is actually doing some of the filtering uh right online here so let's say going back to our main list here let's say i'm going to the state of florida and i want to just pull all the sites in Florida. Um, so I can go here to site state and if I just click on this little down arrow guy right here and if I hit filter by 
I get all the states that are uh, uh, that we have installations in. I'll just go ahead and pick Florida just for fun. Click the apply button. And you can see that we've got all of the states, uh, all the installations listed in Florida. You can see right at the top here, you can tell that this filter is on. Um, we're really not showing all the information, only the Florida states because of the little icon there. If I want to get rid of that filter, I can go ahead and click the clear filter button. And then uh, all the, uh, all the uh, installations will then come back. So just give it a second to update. There we go. And if I want to uh, shut the filter pane, I can just go ahead and click on uh, this guy here, and that will close out the filter pane. We're back to where we started. So uh, you can do filters in pretty much any of the fields you want. And if you filter it, if you hit export to Excel, that will only get down the uh, fields that you want to filter. But I think one of the more powerful features of this is actually the search function. So if I want to uh, search on installation, um, if I'm going somewhere, if I know installation, I can just type in any of the data, so maybe the name of the facility and um, type that in and should be able to get the uh, facility some details and facility itself so just give that one more shot so here we go i typed in kern water district or I typed in kern and here comes up some information on the facility we just put in i've got some of the basic details of it but it's a site in california with some of the contact information so you can really go ahead and type up anything in there and uh and you can get a search on and if you click this x button here you'll get now back to the entire list so um, the other thing we're asking people to do is uh, is to actually put installations in. So on your travels, if you're visiting customers, you collect business cards with names. You can enter those. You can do a quick search, make sure they're not in the database, and then enter them. Or even if you want to send those lists up to my team, me, me and my team will go ahead and enter more data into the list. So let me go ahead and show you how to do that. That's pretty straightforward. So here's an email of a facility uh, email I got from facility um, not too long ago. And uh, here's the Savannah Street Wash Wastewater Treatment Plant in Jackson, uh, Mississippi. So here's something I may want to go ahead and um, and enter. So um, uh, so first thing I would do is just double check to make sure that this is not in the database right now. So let me just go ahead and type Savannah into the search and see if anything shows up. Okay, it looks like a one plant. This is City of Savannah. Let me just double check. Uh, that's in Georgia, so that's uh, Port Port Wentworth, Georgia, so that's not the installation I'm looking for. So it doesn't look like this installation is in here, so I can go ahead and enter it. So I'll just click X there and uh, get back to the main list. And then I'll click the New button right up here, and I get, this, uh, uh, I get a form now where I can enter. So, um, uh, so I'm just going to go straight back to that email and just quickly... Oops, wrong one. Quick, quickly, just sort of copy and paste some of the information out of that email into the uh, into the uh, website here. So I don't have a Salesforce number or an ERP number installation date, but I do have some basics on it. I've got the site name, so it's Savannah Street Wastewater Treatment Plant. Um, looks like it's actually a uh, Veolia North America plant. So I'll go ahead and put that in and we do have the address on it so And let's see. Okay, USA, and this is a. Uh, I, so here is just some of the list of the equipment I have. I've got some, some basic lists here. Um, this I know is some small vacuum regulators are shown on the list, so I'm just going to call it small gas feed instrumentation system. Um, it's not really qualified, so it's not really a qualified contact, but I do have at least some information as to the guy's name, so I'll just go ahead and put that in. Keith Jones. And we'll put in his email address. Hopefully we have it.
So I've got some of the basic details in here. Hit save. And now this uh, this installation is in the list. So um, uh, so uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, it takes only a couple minutes to enter the installations. So uh, that's something that we're asking uh, uh, people to do if you want if you have any installations that you can put it on your own. But again, my team is available to uh, to enter uh, details in here. We really want to get this list uh, up to date so that we have more installations in here, more uh, more references, and more more things for uh, for uh, uh, more uh, sales tools for you guys. So anyway, that pretty much uh, concludes. Uh, this uh, this presentation. I do thank you guys for uh, for watching this. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, you guys know how to reach me. Thanks so much.